Hi, and um, welcome to Gibbo's Creative Flow. Just going to go through the garden today. Here's our exercise machine. Um, we've got an upcycled bicycle wheel, rally one. It says gardeners and all, but we're dirt for the sign. Yeah, the machine. Flowers are out. Thought I'd quickly show you the garden. It's April 2022, and yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say it's gonna keep changing. So thought I'd come and show you. These these flowers are about to come out as well soon. They are rhododendron. Rhododendrons. <laughs> yeah, they're gorgeous. Oh, there's a flower here. I don't know where that's gone. Hello. Interesting. I wonder if I should just keep snapping as I go along. The bluebells go crazy. The bluebells are absolutely crazy. Actually, before we go on the other side, I'll just quickly show you on this side as well. It's a bit of a, a bit of a mess, but that's a bicycle planter. Another found planter from. But look at this tree. Look how interesting this tree is. It's all along the house. It's got a sucking uh, branches on it. Yeah, I think this side needs a bit of attention. And this raspberry bush, oh my goodness, it's like there's been a takeover with the rab raspberry bush. <laughs> yeah, it's this one. Yeah, <laughs> it's gone crazy. These flowers are pretty. And we've got this Japanese Acer that has just started changing colour. Let me just come back to where we were. So we had these ones, which have, they start, once they've finished, once they've finished flowering like this, they turn like this browny colour and then they just fall down. So that's almost finishing off. Can't see any more new buds there. Coming to the sun, it's going at an angle. <laughs> Got a rose here. You know what? I have no idea what colours these roses are. Oh, that's definitely. Hmm. And this, what everyone's crazy about, the camellia. They are stunning. It's a Japanese camellia. And it's like a lollipop tree. Look how cute it is. And look at all the petals. Apparently, um, you're supposed to clear up the petals around the uh, base. So maybe I'll do that. More bluebells. You can walk through there if you want. <laughs> Love. Oh, got shadow there. Sorry. Just love going into these. Oh, there's a butterfly just there. Topped up the peacock water. And then there's like, there's like moss growing here. That's pretty cool. More bluebells. And the daffodils have, have come to the end of their life now. <laughs> Look at these. They're almost finished. Got some really cute blossoms on this. That is another rose. What size is this? Oh, and that. <laughs> 
see we've got loads of different roses of different colours and last year I was like right I need to because a neighbour asked me for some cuttings um, and I was like oh we need to like actually put on there what what colour is what rose but look how pretty those are if only I knew all the names of these flowers and shrubs and but I definitely know this is a pink rose bush because I remember because once you once you cut them back can you see the buds there oh sorry about the focus yeah because once you like cut off the ones which have fallen they come back again but look at the size of that it has been um tied back <laughs> but it will be in full flower hopefully soon and this variegated leaf such gorgeous patterns love to sit here and draw some of these some more moss all along this old brick this pretty mantle sorry some like purple leaves of them plants and there's a different this is a different um, rose there's some nettle at the back I'm not sure what that one is we'll find out when it these are going to be big you know the big huge um they open out really big we used to have uh, i don't know the name of it sorry you'll know what i mean oh the last of the daffodils lovely and this You have to tell me what it's called, I'm not sure. But it's got um white and slight pink there. It's going to have a few more coming, they're getting ready. A little bud here. Oops, sorry. Focus is not very good at all. Sorry about this. And then this is our cherry blossom. When we came here, this was, it actually had cherries the one year, but it was absolutely huge. So we kind of um, cut it quite, quite, cut it back quite a lot about three, four years ago. Three years? Uh, yeah, something like that. And, and it's, I think this is the best it's flowered since we did, since we cut it back. So. I'm hoping some cherries will form on this one again but we never hardly got to have any um, the birds and animals always get them but that's fine that's okay and this was a baby when we planted it uh, yeah it's gone huge now I think it's a f is it a fern? Ooh, I'm not sure. And there's some logs if you want to come sit, <laughs> perch yourself down along the edges. And that's part of the neighbours. Right, this flowers, and I can't remember what flowers, but they are beautiful, and it's a different flower from the one that we got. We got one on the opposite side of this section as well. I'm sure there's some wildlife in there somewhere, isn't there? It's gotta be. Love old logs. That's our burning bin at the back, and. Where is it this one? Yeah, I think this one is the plum tree. I know it doesn't look like it. It looks a bit bare, but um, it does give plums. I oh, know, you're thinking, oh, what's she going to put? They do grow, grow fast. 
This is a variegated something or another. <laughs> Look how pretty the leaves are on this. It's like got a swirl on it. Wow. Absolutely lovely. Have you guys got a garden? This is such a nice place to come in and wine. I've kind of got my shoes off at the moment. I like um, going on the grass. Look at these blossoms. I think we did cut this tree quite back last year because it was a, a bit crazy. But it's still blossoming, it's still healthy, which is good. And there's this shiny one. Oh, it's got like little, little flowers on there. Oh, didn't notice them last time. Right, and this is the other bush that I was telling you about, which is opposite to the one on the other side. Um, I can't remember what colour flowers they are. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> mm. They say, oh no, that's long gone now. What does that say? Um, Lonicera Japonico, Japonica, Holtz, something. I'll leave that there. <laughs> so that must be this. Oh. Variegated ivy in there, I think. And I have to show you. So this is our compost bin. This blue contraption. So it must be ready at the bottom. It's got to be. Um, but we haven't used it yet. But I'm sure the bottom section, like you can get it out from the bottom. Actually, you can have a little peek. Look like it's coming away here, yeah, look like it's ready there, definitely. So yes. I think that needs fixing, doesn't it? Alright, I was gonna show you this beautiful stunning blossom tree. How gorgeous is that? And all the bluebells from this side. They are just, excuse the uh, shop, uh, shopping, <laughs> excuse the washing clothes. Yeah, I think you can see more blossom on the other side. There's loads of these different colour leaves coming out as well. Look at the, um, the bottom of the tree, it's so unique, really cool in here, under here. <laughs> so this is it, and this is um, a cherry blossom, so we do actually get apples from this. Why am I saying cherry blossom? I don't know why I said that. Um, this is the apple tree. <laughs> Love the blossoms on the apple tree. The last of the daffodils. Still going strong. A few of them. Oh, this one's got a bit of green in it. Interesting. So yeah, that, that ready, that ready bush tree is and the neighbours but I like the way it's like on this side I think this is our uh, this climber thing is going up onto theirs that might have to get cut back oh gosh <laughs> just got... oh these are cute got these in um, the craft room I've, I've dried these once they were finished so I've got this is what they look like. 
I've got them hanging in the craft room. So pretty. People are racing. Yeah, don't ask me what these are called, but they're very gorgeous. Very delicate and tiny flowers. This is a rose bush and this is another apple tree and this one has got cooking apples, it normally gives off cooking apples so yeah it, this um, the branch is just about I'll take it so I have to some I have to tie it with a stake once the apples start coming and you can make apple crumble with it why not And this one is a pear tree. You see how many pears we get this year. But we always tend to just get um we always tend to get one for every year that we've been here. So <laughs> So last year was yeah, we basically just get one for every year we've been here. Yeah, this was a full box, but um, yeah, it got cut down. I think it was a bit, it was a bit sick on that side. So this is the other side of that section. There was a lavender here, is there not? Yeah, this is the lavender. It's like a lemony. It's not fully. The flowers are still gonna come yet. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. No. Oh. Daffodils. They're all growing now. And this is another apple tree we've got in the garden. And this one gives off apples as well. But again, we cut this um, during lockdown 2020. Uh, we cut this quite a lot so last year we got some apples but not loads so hopefully this year we'll get a lot more and um, these shell things are something I did whilst I was at um, six, college or school I think it might have been school and it's um, I've made them to, put, to go around um, let me just come around the tree sorry go around uh, the you know the light switches yes, that's the last one so I use stuff like shells pasta sequins ribbon <laughs> just random stuff and I got my dad to help me cut down the wood this is a huge this is gonna be I'm sure it's a type of rose bush but I can't tell you what but it has I don't want to say the wrong thing and then <laughs> It's a completely different colour that comes out. Oh, is it pink as well? I can't remember. So yeah, that's that's got some flowers on it. Not sure what that is either. This is quite huge. It's got a little little box up there for the birds to chill in. Oh, this is going to be stunning when these open. Um, so it's like the leaves are a little bit furry. But these are these are yellow, like a muted yellow colour. Really cool. And then we've got some climbers which we have to keep cutting back because they go onto the neighbour side. So we've got to be careful of that. We've got mixed ivy type of plants. I'm sure this has been cut back quite a bit because um, last time it was a bit bigger than this. 
Anyway, <laughs> it's okay. Oh, look, little baby ones coming through. This is a, quite a shady spot for these guys. But they're doing fine, because look, there's some on the top as well. Healthy, healthy, happy plants. And can you see there's something here as well? The figs. The figs are getting ready. Little baby figs started already. So they'll be going. This gets huge. All this is fit. All this is fig and up there. That that'll all be a fig tree. Oh these are huge, huge flowers. I don't I know you can't tell right now, that tiny bud, but they will be, so we'll come back and do a video for that. Um got a rose mixed in here. Some more bluebells. The bluebells we didn't even plant any there and they've just come over here. <laughs> Yeah, it's gone crazy. And again, we've got this beautiful Japanese Asa on the from the corner. So yeah, I think that's everything.